Hello, everyone, and welcome to the program. I'm Sean Kimbale in Lagos. When Nigerians go to the polls in 229 days from now, their confidence and trust in the electoral process, the assurance that their votes will count and not wrought by manipulators, are a few things that will count on the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to tidy up. Underage voting, vote buying, malfunctioning machine, shortage of electoral personnel, cleaning up of uh, voter registers, insecurity, etc., have been uh, issues uh, that are being on the minds of several Nigerians, on the credibility of the Nigerian electoral process. Over the years, the heads of the Nigerian Electoral Commission have had to defend their integrity, whether after being confronted on live television or refusing to yield to pressure or demands of the powers that be. It is such a huge task to be in charge of the nation's leadership recruitment process, especially in a country like Nigeria, where it is diversity colors its politics. For the 2019 elections, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEX, says it is preparing for over 80 million voters. But there seems to be a problem. There is a huge chunk of PVCs waiting to be picked up over 7 million across the country, with Lagos with the highest numbers. The INEC chair, Professor Mahmoud Yakubo, is worried about this. We have found no connection between the INEC voter register and the incidence of underage voting in Kano. In fact, in virtually all the polling units, they did not even use the voter register to accredit anyone. But if people decided to gather up some other people to some print ballot papers and to do the kind of thing they did, that is outside the responsibilities of the commission. But having said so, there is a demand by citizens that we should release the report of uh, um, our own internal investigation. I assure you that we will soon release the report, the full report of that investigation. We have told the nation that we have a little over 7 million uncollected PVCs from the 2015 general elections. These figures came from INEC. We have also given the breakdown of the uncollected PVCs on state by state basis, of which Lagos has the highest number of uncollected PVCs of 1.4 million. So we place the honors on the registrants to come forward and collect the PVCs. Have we made progress with the collection since 2015? Not much. As at the 14th of June, a little over 500,000 PVCs have been collected. A little over 500,000. We are planning the next general election on the basis of a voter register of over 18 million Nigerians. So you heard from the head of the Electoral um, uh, Commission, INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakub, with 68 political parties registered by INEC and more likely to be added to the list. One advantage with that is the varied option it presents to the electorate. The political space has seen new entrants in recent time in a climb where the number of women vying for political offices county, one woman was shown interest in the office of the president. My first guest tonight on the program is Dr. Elisha Maide. She's seeking nomination under the Alliance for a New Nigerian Party, ANN, one of the newly registered political parties. Guess what? She says she wants to be Nigeria's president in 2019. So tonight, we'll be asking her about our program and that of our party if she gets a ticket of the party to run in 2019. Dr. Elisha Maide, welcome to the program tonight. Thank you so very much. <laughs> you want to be president of Nigeria in 2019? Of course I want to be. Why? Because I want to change the status quo of the present situation of our country. Do you have the capacity? I do have the capacity. And, uh, you know, it's in a climb where you can count how many women who are in politics or in leadership. And that What is, gives you the confidence? The confidence is that we really need an equal representation of, the, of women right now in the political terrain of Nigeria. 
I do really believe sincerely that one of the major problems why we are experiencing what we are experiencing in Nigeria right now is because there is no touch. The woman's touch is not in, you know, the What does the woman touch? What does it look like? Com compassion, really? empathy. Really? A woman is easily able to assess situation and provide solutions. A woman has such sensitive emotional intelligence to be able to detect pains easily, to be able to understand and be in touch with the suffering of the people, to be able to quickly rescue any situation that might put other human beings in danger and profess solution to them. Uh, so that's the, what is lacking in Nigeria today? Oh, that is, that is part of what is lacking. That is part of what is so working. Okay, because you, I've, I've read through some of your programs, yes. and you have said that um, uh, you, you bring a new model of governance. What does that mean? Well, let me start from what, why I'm in this race. Um, I've been in social community um, uh, environment, you know, impacting my community with uh, social works for the past 20 years. And I've been able to identify some serious and major issues concerning our nation. And um, I've been able to deal with a section of the society that has been totally marginalized. And that is the poor, the abandoned, the needy. And the faces of these people that I've been dealing with in the, com in the, you know, in the level of community project are the faces that represent 61% of our nation right now. And it is increasing daily. Nigeria is in a state of abject poverty. We are a rich nation, we are blessed people, but we are a poor people in every facet of life. Really? Oh yes, we are not just poor, we are in abject poverty. And so these, these people that you say you have identified, uh, Yes. Are, are, are you thinking maybe they will identify with you because you've been... Oh, they are, they are surely going to identify with me. Really? Because Nigeria, you know, the people of Nigeria are really agitating right You're now. You're an outsider in the Nigeria political system. That is why somebody like me should go in there. Because, because the, you, you do what, what, the question will be, do you really know the politics of this country, considering the intrigue? I don't really want to know the sort of politics we run in this country. Country because the people in there are insensitive. They do not go in there to care for the people. The constitution of our country states that governance is about security and the welfare of the people. Do we see that in our politics? Do we see that in, you know, in our governance? Is that representing us in every facet of our society? That is what governance is about. 